all, this is Jessica with My Curly Adventures back for another segment of the Texas Travel Series here in Beaumont, Texas. I'm so excited to explore gator country, try some incredible Cajun food, visit an old west town, and so much more. We're starting our morning off here at Rouse Bakery. Now this place is famous for their King's Cakes during the Mardi Gras season. They sell 10 to 12,000. We missed it a little bit, but we're still getting some great pastries. We're here at Gator Country and there are so many gators all around. You can feed them, you can hold them, and they have other animals as well. I got to hold a snake. They have cute little animal like buddies and they even have some tortoises. If you're more afraid of snakes and gators, they have a goat petting zoo. So you can walk in there, there's going to be goats, bunnies, tortoises, and even chickens roaming around. We are here at Willy Burger, where you can have some incredible burgers, freshly made right in front of you, and eat in an Airstream. They have so many unique burgers like one where they have fried green tomatoes, pimento cheese and jelly in one, or you can get the Booty Boudin Burger. We're out here kayaking with Big Thicket Outfitters and we've just gotten to see so much beautiful nature all around, gorgeous trees. It's even more incredible in the spring and the fall and just enjoying the view. Oxbow's and O Avenue of the river. It got silted in, so a long time ago, the river came through here. We started on the interstate this morning. You know, and then we took an off ramp, got on the farm road, then we got on dirt road. <laughs> Two and a half hours later, my arms and shoulders are so tired, but I feel so accomplished. There were a lot of fun little small trails that were a challenge, as well as having just like the big open river. We are here at the State of Fire Museum where they have all the history of firefighters. They've got the historical vehicles and you can even dress like a firefighter yourself. We are in a historic fire station. It was the central fire station for the city of Beaumont. It is currently headquarters and the museum. The fire station has been on this spot since the 1880s. We're exploring downtown, they have different murals, several different museums, and so much to see, plus the beautiful theaters in our districts. We made a stop at the Art Museum of Southeast Texas. We saw the most unique metalwork pieces, beautiful portraits, these incredibly detailed sculptures made with clay from Milwaukee Riverbed and depictions of native Texas wildlife. We're wrapping up the night at Jay Wilson's. Everyone has told me that they have the best fried pickles, so I can't wait to see for myself. We also tried their beef nachos with Southwest sour cream and house-made pickle. Their California flatbread with grilled chicken, bacon, and jalapeno ranch. For our entrees, we ordered their fried shrimp with creamed spinach and coleslaw, as well as one of their massive burgers. And of course, we couldn't skip out on dessert. Little Woodrow's is a perfect place to cap off the night. There is plenty of seating and they even have suspended swings and outdoor games like the massive Connect Four. The bartender made us a delicious drink in this huge frosted glass before we headed into the arcade where we had a little friendly basketball and jungle competition before finishing off the night with some ping pong. To start off our next morning, we stopped at Toasted York for breakfast. We ordered the Alaskan Arnold with a side of grits, the two eggs, breakfast deluxe. 
and their biscuits and gravy. Look at how perfectly cooked that yolk is. Hey buddy! We're here at Cattail Marsh and while we are here to check out the marsh, they also have horse stables on site and this cute little pony. It is just absolutely beautiful here. We are about to do yoga. We've got all the nature around us, the birds. Maybe we'll even see an alligator, who knows? So after an amazing time doing yoga, all the water and nature around us, doing a little bird watching and just seeing all the different animals. There was an alligator over there. There was an otter here earlier. Just so many amazing things to see here. Beaumont Botanical Gardens is this conservatory. It houses all the uh, tropical plants. It was a big bromeliad collection at one time, but we've kind of dwindled down to different things. It's a 10,000 square feet of greenhouse. The horticulture center here has a greenhouse with so many different plants and dinosaurs. One of the coolest things here is the orchid area where they have all these rare and hard to find orchids that you won't see anywhere else. What I love about Beaumont is that you do not have to break the bank to enjoy a trip here. There's so many fun free things to do like wandering through the rose garden where they have all these different flowers, so much to see and so many different walking paths. We're headed to Monica's for lunch. I just love how much they focus on locally sourced food, organic and fresh items, and everything on the menu looks amazing. So welcome to Monica's restaurant here in lovely Beaumont, Texas, the West End. So we've got here at our little farm to table restaurant, we've got our play on a bond meat. We call it the bond mon, and we use the bread from a local bakery here in town, and we use this bolillo bread. So it's a little bit different than the traditional Vietnamese bread that you get that's French bread. And we pickle all of our carrot and daikon in-house, and we do like an Asian slaw with Napa cabbage and red and all of the good herbs. And then moving along, we are known for our salads. We've got this apple chicken salad, and it's all organic grilled chicken, fresh green apples, and the greens are from Donna's Farm. And this is our Cobb salad, and this is a fun salad to get and my last name is Cobb so I like to say it's the ultimate Cobb. Then we've got this burger that is just off the chain amazing. The grass-fed beef is coming out of Wild Earth Texas. Female rancher Rachel Wilson's beef it's amazing. We're super proud of that and it also has on it a chili relleno. So it's a poblano pepper smoked and peeled with a big piece of cheddar cheese oozing out of it and also just to twist things up some of our house-made kimchi. We sauteed the kimchi with a duck egg and put that on top with the brioche bun and a couple of grilled tomatoes and onions. Then we'll do dessert. How does that sound? Sounds good. <laughs> Spindletop Museum pays tribute to Beaumont's roots as an oil town that grew overnight when Spindletop spewed over 100,000 barrels of oil for nine days. There are replicas of buildings that you would have found in the early 1900s as well as a replica of the Spindletop. We made a stop at Lavin Cafe, which used to be an old computer repair shop, but has now been repurposed into a cafe and a pub, but they still hold on to a lot of their old roots. I found the perfect place to start our morning at Tacos La Bamba, which has so many great breakfast items, breakfast tacos, chilaquilas, and other great things. There used to be a Vietnamese uh, market and restaurant, and uh, then it was closed down. We were actually down the corner, I mean down the street, and when I arrived there wasn't really any authentic Mexican food, it was all Tex-Mex. So I just threw the idea to my father, I go, hey, how about we open up a taco shop or something? Find a place and, you know, go ahead. We found this one, it was closed down. Fixed it up, we moved it. The... 
In Europe, it's a must to go and visit all the incredible church buildings and cathedrals. But here in Beaumont, they have a must visit place as well. As soon as you walk inside the cathedral, it is absolutely stunning. You'll be amazed to find the most delicious seafood at Floyd's Texas Steakhouse, like this beautiful plate of oysters, as well as this gorgeous, tasty shrimp and crawfish. Our dinner became an activity while we learned how to break open and eat crawfish the right way. As part of our museum tour, we made sure to stop at the Texas Energy Museum. I reckon you could say I was whelped in the oil patch. Pa was drilling water wells near Nacogdoches when I was born in 1885. After shopping and antiquing around Beaumont, we stopped at Catherine and Company for an afternoon recharge. We sipped on these huge delicious lattes and grabbed some lunch plates with sandwiches, fruits and these bright and tasty salads. At Daddy O's Burger, you can choose from three different varieties of buns and plates that vary from your traditional burger to enjoying your favorites like mac and cheese all in one bite. The diner experience with the cold bottle drink, it was just what we needed. Well, that's all for our trip here in Beaumont. Until next time, make sure to follow along at My Curly Adventures for more Texas adventures.